morning, brothers and sisters. I want to start off, Brother Dave, if you see this, sorry we didn't get to connect this weekend. I uh, hope we can sort something out soon. Just had a lot on my plate here this weekend, you guys. I need you all to keep my brother Jason, our brother Jason, in your prayers, please. Because the things that have happened over the last, I would even say, three or four days, that if you didn't have faith, it would break you. And I've been in prayer all weekend, reflecting on it. And you hear the same thing over and over, you know, my ways are not your ways. Because while we're processing it, you're, you're always going to have the enemy coming in trying to get you to tap out. Machine Monkey put out a good video here this weekend about resonance and frequency and how our bodies are 70% water and there was an interesting experiment and I've talked about this before in another video um, where there was rice in three different containers and one container was love, it had the word love on it um, and then I think the other one was uh, ignore and the other one was hate and this gentleman, I forget the time frame, it was like six weeks or something like that and, and he, whatever that word was on the container that, that emotion he would apply that energy to that container and sure enough um, the results were amazing and I've seen it done you know many a time before with, with different people so it's not like it's a, a fluke you know but it's not recognized as science of course it's not because it shows you the power of love But the point I'm trying to make, you guys, is you know, what we put out there, where we decide to put our, our energy. Um, go ahead, dear. Who we decide to allow in our, our temples will dictate what happens in our lives. And depending on the, the situation, and, and although it may look bad from an outsider's point of view that, I, you know, what's going on with my brother Jason right now it literally hit me as I was brushing my teeth this morning you guys but we cannot cross over dirty we cannot cross over flawed we have to cross over white our robes need to be white and so, in order for that to happen, whatever blemish that we have on it, it, it has to be purged. It, it has to be um, put to fire. And so, my dear brother Jason, if you have a chance to see this, and, and we'll talk about this, this is a great opportunity, brothers and sisters, for, for us to examine ourselves to really hold ourselves to the fire and understand, okay, what area of my walk needs to be refined? What, what, because that's all he wants from us is an effort to, to get rid of sin. And because he loves us so much and he doesn't want to see any of us perish, he, he will allow you to go through that. I just felt the enemy trying to put a lot of hatred in my heart this weekend. Trying to to get angry at the things that are happening to my friend here. Because he, he he's in a situation right now, brothers and sisters, where all the work that he's done could be lost. Uh, the, the little bit of support that he had out there has abandoned him. And he's really looking at a situation where it, it could be very, very, very bleak if you, if you didn't have faith. And I had a chance to, to have a talk with him this weekend and he was doing better with it than I was. <laughs> Praise God. And all of you, including me, have gone through 
these journeys that are, you know, are, are traumatic and are, are very intense and to a standard of a lot of people that are asleep would be, you know, not desired, I guess is the easiest way to explain it. You know, a lot of people hear my life and again, my testimony is all that I know that I can share with you and you know, living a a drug-fueled, you know, cheating, just deplorable debauchery of a lifestyle, to a lot of people, they can't get over that fact. They they still continue to look at me in that light, that that's the way that I am. And you know what, that's okay, because that's their journey, you guys. Judgment is their journey. They need to be able to get over that. And the only way to, to, to stop judging others is, is to stop worrying about oneself and to solely worry about what your brother and sister needs as opposed to what they're not doing. Because little do they know, if it's not happening, it's not happening for a reason. And that bigger picture, a lot of brothers and sisters fail to see. God tested me this weekend, you guys. He he let the enemy come against me this weekend and try to throw a whole bunch of emotion. And it was uh, it was a feeling that I haven't felt in a long time of uh, helplessness and depression. And so I know they're spirits. That that is, if we're gonna battle the spiritual first and foremost we have to understand that it, that it is spiritual you have to have with all faith that is in you in Jesus Christ to know that these things that are coming against us are not um, bad luck or coincidence it's, it's an attack and we have to treat it as such that's the only way and we can't do it alone brothers and sisters and, and you've heard me see, say this many a time scripture says it If we try to come against the enemy ourselves thinking we can conquer it ourselves, you've got another thing coming because you'll lose every single time. And that is the point of this, is to humble us so that we ask for help. And so I humbly come to you, Jesus, help me, please. Help my brother Jason, help my brothers and sisters. Because every single day that passes, it's, it's, you can feel it. It's this... this turning dial towards where this is all going and every day it gets more and more intense. And we need to embrace that. And if you happen to have a refining, you know, moment that maybe the enemy is starting to pull the the other way, you got to pray on it and and dust yourselves off and get back up, you guys. That's what's important. It's, It's that dwelling in that darkness, keeping you there is the detriment. being saved isn't without fire you guys that's for sure if you're going through your walk right now and it's and it's fairly flawless where you feel like there's not too much going on you really need to take a hard look in that spiritual mirror because the enemy might have you in a, in a situation where you know just leave him or her there to dwell in the darkness Today is our, uh, our federal election day, and it's just like any other day. It's, it's not an election, it's a selection, and you all know that. How, when you wake up, you, you see everything, it's just, it's fake, all of it. My, a dear sister of mine shared a video with me about how the, it's called the dead internet theory and it, it's basically how like everything on the internet is fake you know and everything's fake on purpose through AI to be tailored to your needs so that it takes your time because what does our enemy want to do he just wants to steal and rob you of your time so that you can't get closer to God and 
And so with these elections, uh, you know, it's not that we're voting someone in, we're voting someone out. And that's the plan because the next guy that we are voting in is the next part of the plan. The plan. Pardon me. And this, there's a movement right now called the People's Party of Canada. And they're known as, as a far-sighted uh, anti-vax organization that uh, I think they're at 6% right now, but it's, it's building and climbing. But the catch-22 of it is more votes to that side will take away from the only party that has a chance of getting rid of the socialistic power that we have in place right now, that is Justin Trudeau. But oh, quick to be suckered into the illusion of politics and power that they make you think that you have by the democratic process. It's laughable. And you just have to put yourself in, in the, that system's shoes to understand, yes, it makes complete sense that they would give you an illusion of power to make you think that you have a choice. All the while, we, we, we very well know what happens at, uh, behind closed doors. And how easy would it be to say, okay, so you've got the, you know, you the people have the power, place your vote, and you can put your person in, no, okay. They already knew who, know who they want in, and how easy would it be to say, okay, we got all your votes, so we put them away, and yeah, you voted this guy. <laughs> It'd be very easy. So so much so easy that that's actually what happens. It's it's literally we don't know, and I don't know if any of you have worked an election, but it's literally uh, you spend four days, like some sixteen hour days. You tally all these numbers, and then you you you, you put it all in a sealed box with the hopes that it goes to a place that it is sealed, and then you call in the numbers. What what happens after that? Brothers and sisters, today is a brand new day. I encourage you to dig deep and look at yourself in the mirror. And if you were to go today, would you be ready? And I'm coming to you as a brother that will always try to come to you humbly. I'm not ready. And so, Jesus, please refine me today. One more day, guys, to, to, to do and, and refine these areas of our walk that, that uh, need to be cleaned. And I, I'm really starting to understand that that's what the fear of God is. And I had a dear sister, Deb, and I think I mentioned this before, that when Jesus showed up to John on Patmos, I think I'm saying that right, John dropped to his knees and, and they were, they were scared. And, it, and a lot of times when an angel showed up to, uh, you know, Ezekiel or whatever prophet, you, you know, you see these scriptures where they drop to their knees terrified. And, and, and I still, you know, you read the scripture where the angel puts his hand and, and gives them strength again and says, it's okay, stand up. I always thought it was that supernatural experience that scared them. But Deb's sister through the Holy Spirit helped me realize that they thought that was it. That it was their time and, and, and the possibility or the fear that they weren't ready. And that gives uh, me hope and should give you hope, brothers and sisters, in knowing that all the brothers and sisters before us w worked out their salvation daily with fear and trembling. And then when the moment came where they thought it was their time to go, they weren't sure. So keep fighting, you guys. That's the moral of this video. That's the moral of the story. Keep fighting relentlessly daily. If you had a tough day yesterday or a tough weekend, you fell short of something, um, give it up to the Lord, repent, and, and move on from that. And I don't mean move on so that you do it again. I mean move on so that you stop doing it. 
and I'm a filthy rag, just like every single one of us, you guys. And, and, and so we need to just continue to push, push forward. It's the ones that think they're safe, that no longer look at themselves in the spiritual mirror to try to understand, okay, what area can I work out? I just heard something this weekend that blew me away. You know, someone that, that goes to church, at, at, but yet is pro-choice. And this person's near and dear to me. And I just could not wrap my brain around it. I, cu I couldn't, I still can't. It's weighing heavy on me today. I can't believe that you could even think that you could, you know, face God. And yet you, you, you think that that's okay. And then God gracefully and humbly reminds me, who am I? Keep focusing on the areas that, that need to be refined, you guys. So I love you guys dearly. I appreciate all of you and every comment. Again, Brother Dave, we will catch up. I'm going to work. Let's, uh, let's see what the week holds. I've got some... We'll see what's going to happen there. I'm pretty sure I'll find out this week because time's running short. Um, I put in my petition from the Lord by the Holy Spirit, and uh, I, I know that he has authority. Not man's law, not man's ways, not the government, but Jesus Christ has authority over all. So therefore, whatever's going to happen here in my life, I know is in his hands and is according to his will, not anybody else's. But the devil will quickly try to tell me, oh, no, no, look, at he's abandoned you. No, 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 he's got bigger plans You've already been defeated, Satan. Get behind me. Hallelujah. Get lost, devil. Praise Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. Praise Jesus Christ. The sun is shining. We've got the abilities to keep smiling. Keep praying for one another. Relentlessly, brothers and sisters, keep praying for one another. Because it is so much needed right now. But I love you guys dearly. I pray the good Lord protects you. Puts his hedge of protection around you. Enjoy your week, you guys. And uh, yeah, Father willing, I will definitely do one tomorrow. And again, I love you all. God bless.